So I've been thinking of starting my own channel because I am over 40 and I'm trying to find myself. Good morning. Uh, today I got some things I have to do. I got to work today. Um, I need to go up to the hospital because our appointment that we had um, a few weeks ago, the doctor reminded me that we didn't pay for our visit. We were both sick and she kind of rushed us out, but she forgot to collect payment. So I'm going to go up there and pay that and see what else I can get into. Right now, I'm gonna go make me some coffee. So I've been thinking of starting my own channel because I am over 40 and I'm trying to find myself. My friends have suggested me starting a channel called um, Finding Alum and I've been debating on, on doing that. I like the just regular vlog style, but I also want to showcase like what I'm doing to find myself, my style, my wants, my appearance, all of that. Um, because I feel like in the last 20 years, I've lost some aspects of myself and not saying it's because I've been married or had children but mainly because I have um, been busy. Life has been so busy in the States that you don't really have time to focus on yourself because you're really focusing on everyone else. You're focusing on all of the other aspects of life that 
needs to be handled, the bills, the transportation for the kids, stuff around the house. And in between all that, you forget that you should be focusing on yourself. I know I spent time really not um, doing things that I like to do, like getting my nails done. My nails are atrocious. Um, getting pedicures, getting my hair done, or even like really doing my hair is to really slap it up in a ponytail and be done. There's a lot. And I just kind of want to, I think I want to share that. I'm not sure. In the meantime, I'll see how this goes. I want to do like maybe weekly vlogs where I vlog a little bit each day and share my week with you on what I'm doing. We'll see. really feeling lazy today. I know I have a lot of stuff to do, but I am feeling really, really, really lazy. Like I am struggling to be motivated right now. Oh, and it's nine o'clock, like on the dot. That means it's 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. to catch the bus to go up to the hospital so I can pay our last bill uh, from a few weeks ago. So now I'm waiting on the bus. Eight pesos. That's how much it is to ride, ride the bus and they run all over town. to film getting on the bus is so hard because I feel like they take off as soon as you step foot and whoop, see it's very windy and if you're not holding on you will fall no for real you will fall I don't know if you can hear me because it's very windy today my hat is a not holding on for me so now I'm walking to the hospital, which is across the way, not too far. <sighs> See if I can hold it down. So that's where I'm trying to go, the hospital. And this is the mall I got dropped off at, just over yonder. <sighs> what I was saying earlier is what I do when I catch the bus is I ask the driver if they're going where I need to go because not all the buses 
have where they're going on the front or all the places that they're going on the front. So I always ask, like this time I asked, um, you know, uh, Soriana, if they're going to Soriana, because I know Soriana is right over there where the mall is. That's where, close enough to where I needed to go. That's how I do it, it's only eight pesos. It's not a quick ride, but it's a inexpensive ride. So I'm already finished and I decided I'm going to request an Uber to take me to La Comer, which is the grocery store. I feel like walking back down the hill, crossing the highway to catch the bus back. I could, but I don't, I'm not in the mood for it right now. I need to stop by La Comer to get some grocery items. Then I will be on my way back home. I have some more work to do and a meeting with some ladies to go over a project that we are going to be working on or flesh out an idea for a project. It's really windy. Gracias. Hasta luego. Kevin needs some Centodyne and oh, they're all expensive. Sorry, 111 pesos. My Uber was 78 pesos, which is like just under five dollars. Jump scare. Just under five dollars. That's pretty reasonable considering they're usually they try to charge you like a hundred pesos no, yeah a hundred pesos for the Ubers and coming from Liverpool is usually a lot more than coming from our house to La Comer. I like coming over to their home goods section just to see what they have it's always different um, they don't usually have the same thing from season to season one thing I've learned about being here is if you see something you like get it when you see it buy two if you can because once it's gone it's gone I was thinking about getting me a bunt pan because I want to make pound cake but I don't know if I feel like spending 498 pesos on it and these are cute these are cast iron 738 pesos so this morning, my coffee machine tried to die on me. 
so I might need to invest in another one because I just can't have that but I really prefer like the small ones I don't need a, a huge coffee pot just a small one would be fine like this one this 348 pesos that is not bad for the coffee pot I think Taurus is like a popular brand here or I don't know what you would call it but um, we have a Taurus air fryer works great wouldn't mind getting that I have to think about it Let's see milk is 43 pesos oh my goodness so sometimes we make um, golden milk with this oat milk right here but it, it's gone up it's 174 pesos that's basically ten dollars for that carton this is the bakery section um, I got so many different kinds of desserts over here that some Mexican bread based desserts are a lot more doughy than sweet or what you're used to in the States. It's definitely a lot more bread in a lot of them. But I had a donut the other day when I went to Saturday Market with Tracy and that donut was so good. Granted it was a thick donut but that's my mission this week is to find those donuts so I can get like a half dozen they were so good look who I ran into let me go track her down hola buenas tardes Bye, really like about Mexico is these warnings that they put on just about everything that comes in. You see excess calorie, excess sugar, excess saturated fat, and excess sodium. And you'll see it on all items. Alright, so this is what I'm getting so far. Needed some more like cling wrap, toothpaste, milk, half and half, some Doritos for Kevin. This popcorn mix is really good. Um, and the tortillas that the store makes are really good. Some bread, a watermelon, and this juice. So, oh, and sparkling water. I love sparkling water. And I use that to make my lemonade. It's delicious. I think that's all I'm going to get for today. I'll just be back later. Uh, now I'm going to go find Bobby because we're going to ride together back to the house. Este es mi amiga. Did you see the price on the oat milk? The extra cream is 174 now. It was more than what it was. It was like 160 something. Yeah. Did you get everything? Mm, I asked you the same thing. I am sweating. Finished checking out with my groceries they came up to 1,400 and like 26 pesos which probably like 80 bucks um, I didn't get much so that goes to show you that just because we're in Mexico doesn't mean things are cheaper the groceries alone the price has gone up quite a bit and it's it can be similar to U.S. pricing with some of these groceries, especially when you're buying stuff like Doritos, which we're guilty of. Now I'm waiting for Bobby, and then we're going to request the Uber so we can go home. <laughs> 